and the, the hero is the one who can, can participate in it decently in the way of nature, not in the way of personal rancor, revenge, or anything of the kind. Let me tell you one story here of a samurai warrior, a Japanese warrior, who had the duty to avenge the murder of his overlord. And he actually, after some time, found and cornered the man who had murdered his overlord. And he was about to deal with him with his samurai sword when this man in the corner, in a passion of terror, spat in his face. And the samurai sheathed the sword and walked away. Why did he do that? Why? Because he was made angry. And if he had killed that man, then it would have been a personal act. It was another kind of act. That's what, what he had come to do. Let me tell you what happens to me when I read these stories, no matter the culture of their origin. I feel first this sense of wonder at the uh, spectacle of the human imagination simply groping to try to understand this existence. Does that ever happen to you? Confused. When the people were confused, they asked Ali upon his return, what was that moment that you paused? There is a moment in Ali ibn Abi Talib which is a lesson for all of us. If man anchors you, Remain patient. Only get angry when you when Allah's message is anchored. Because when Ali came back, they said to him, Why did you walk away? He said, As I was about to strike Amr ibn Wind, he spat at me. If I struck him, then I would have struck him for my own ego. But I never strike a human because of my ego. So I walked away. I returned back into the battle. And I struck him because he angered the message of God. Further than this, in the opposition army, Amr ibn Wit's sister was sitting. She was having a meal. She thought her brother would come back victorious. Someone came back to her and said to her that we have some sad news for you. She said, what is it? She replied by saying, they replied to her by saying, your brother has been killed. She said, my brother has been killed? My brother who kills the lions? Which lion killed my brother? They said to a young man known as Ali ibn Abi Talib. She said, do you mind if I go and see my brother's body and I will then tell you what I think of Ali ibn Abi Talib. She went towards the brother's body. She was crying and crying and crying. She came near her brother's body. The narrations, what do they state? The narration states, she sat by the brother's body. She then suddenly got up and she smiled and she called out to everyone, I am honored the son of Abu Talib killed my brother. Why? She said, my brother, before he begins a war, asks the person he's fighting, I beg of you, if you're a sincere human, if you do kill me, don't take my shield because it belongs to my great grandfather's. Let it at least stay with my family. She said, I look at my brother's body and I see his shield is still on his body. And it makes me understand that the son of Abu Talib fights for no one but his Lord. Because if the son of Abu Talib was fighting for his ego, then he would have been like the rest of Muhammad's army who would have stolen my brother's shield.